It's May 27th, 2021. I am about to head up to New Paltz, New York tomorrow for Quail Hollow Arts Festival. Uh, I'm about to start uh, packing up my van. Last night I started packing up the books. Today I got to get them all into the van and tomorrow we're leaving. So uh, let's go see what I've done and what I still got to do. Want to help me pack up my books, Bubby? What do you think? All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. So last night, Bubba did not, Bubba did not help me pack these boxes, but he watched me and kept me company. Uh, so books are in here. Books are in these three. Let's see what else we got. We got random chairs all over the place. Uh, books are in here. I still got to get these books over here packed away more safely. I still need to get all of these books into a bin. What's really important when I pack in these type of containers is to put um, little brakes on the side so that way the books don't get all dented on the transport. So as you'll see, this is how it'll go into the, uh, the bin so that way the corners don't get dented. I use old boxes to make those. So I basically just go like this. And then you have a nice little safety contraption. A new dilemma that I'm facing is that I now have books that are different sizes. So this is um, five and a half by eight and a half where all my other books are six by nine. So I'll show you what the issue is. I'll show you what the issue is with that. So you can see they don't fit perfectly. Uh, there's a little bit more space. So the reason that that is an issue is because they'll wiggle around and I really don't want my books getting damaged while driving to and from shows. So I'll most likely use a lot of this type of packaging to hopefully prevent that from happening. I take great care with my books. Um, a little frustration for anyone else who uses KDP. Uh, a lot of times lately they've been shipping books and they're damaged and they're not packed well. So um, it's really not that hard to pack books to be safe. I mean, I'm probably saying this and gonna jinx myself, but you know, with, with enough packing and packaging and foam and just cardboard and just making sure that everything is fit in there tight usually prevents any types of like dings and, and bends, bends and dents and whatever. Um, while transporting books. Uh, so I have damaged books from KDB, but I do my best to not let that happen when I move my books from my house to shows. Packed nice and tight, should be good for transport. All the fantasy novels are packed away. Now I need to go into the basement and get all of the children's books and poetry books. So let's go into my little cave of book stuff. The smaller bookshelves were supposed to be part of my Seattle setup, but COVID ruined my trip to Seattle for Emerald City. Um, but I think I can actually use these smaller shelves at the markets as well. So I might bring them all. I have a 15 by 10 booth, so it's nice and big. Um, and I'm gonna just try to util utilize my space as best as possible. These little containers here hold all of the postcards I give out to readers. So for example, if someone buys Hall of Mosses, I give them a postcard for the book two. And I also have book three in there somewhere. Uh, so I need to refill this so that way I have enough postcards for the weekend. Yesterday, I did this with all of those boxes you saw upstairs. It was a workout.
uh, yeah, so <laughs> that wasn't that many boxes and they're smaller, but yesterday the boxes were really heavy, filled with fantasy novels. Um, this is pretty much what I do every time. Sometimes I don't go up those stairs, but I go up the, uh, the Bilco door stairs and um, it's just as exhausting, so <laughs> really no difference. Uh, the only issue, oh, let me show you. So um, the door situation at the top of these stairs is atrocious. Let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, oh, hey, thanks for opening the door for me, friend. Good boy. Um, but I have this like door one, door two, door three, and you can see it's a really tight space. We don't even fit here together, um, but these doorknobs hit. And if you can imagine when I'm holding a big box, it's pretty difficult to do, uh, to get through. I gotta do a whole little shimmy shake thing. All right, Bubs. I take a quick break to do some work stuff. Uh, gonna change out of this clothes and uh, get back into workout clothes so I can keep putting stuff into my van. Bless you. Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna have any books in the car? Stop, stop, stop. I gotta, I gotta get out of these clothes. Move, move, move. Good boy. Okay, ready to go again. Ready to get back to packing the van with these. Oh, God, this is heavy. Bubba, I need your muscles. Okay, let's go. Come on, Bubba. Come on. First order of business, I need to clean out the van. I've got a bunch of stuff in there that can't be in there when I put all my books in. such as roller blades. These are circa 1998, I believe. Uh, you can see this one's missing a break. This one has a broken strap, but can't stay in my van. You might not know this, but I recently started doing real estate. So hammer this, this was the the box my for sale sign post was in. All gotta come out of the van for the book show. All of this will go back into the van, but this will go between the books and the bookshelves. I'm gonna open up the bill code doors in the basement. Hey, Bubba, come here. Oh, hey, friend, come on. Right now, I'm organizing all this stuff. This is all the extra stuff that goes into the booth. Um, so I'm going to organize all of that and then get that upstairs. Due to the rain, I'm gonna need to bring a whole bunch of tarps because if it actually rains the way it's saying it's gonna rain, uh, I'm gonna wanna cover my stuff every single night to make sure nothing gets wet. That means tarp on the ground, 
tarp over my stuff. All my boxes of books will go on the table so they're not on the ground. Um, books off the shelves. All that good stuff. I've got at least three of these, so I just got to find the other ones. The only reason I am bringing plastic bags is because of the rain. Uh, normally, I give everyone little paper bags, eco-friendly, but with the rain um, and the fact that I'm selling paperback books, unfortunately, this is the best solution until something better comes along. I do have reusable bags, but not everybody wants to buy those, so uh, this is the best next thing, the next best thing. It's really not the best thing at all, but here we are. Perpetuating the problem. Reinforcements have arrived. What? Reinforcements have arrived. Now, the first time you hit your brakes, this is all gone, so we should just push it up right here like that. Okay. I think that's everything. The van is packed. Uh, so hard parts done. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up. I have a few little extra things I need to do and then we can hit the road without too much um, work to do beforehand. Good morning. It is Friday of Memorial Day weekend. I am doing some last minute button making before I head up to New Paltz, New York. It's a, actually a really fun process to be honest. Uh, let me show you. First you have to, well these have all been printed previously, but basically these are uh, images from my books and you have to put them in here and then cut them into little circles for the buttons. So let's do a few of those. Now what you do is this little button contraption thing right here. Um, one side goes the pin side. On the other side, you set up the uh, the button to be made, you put on a piece of metal, the image, and then you put down this little piece of a, it's like plastic laminate, something like that. And then you go, boom. boom. Then you've got a button. Okay, put that in here. just made the two hour drive from 
home in New Jersey, up to New Paltz, New York. We're almost there. We're about uh, 15 minutes from our location. Um, it is raining, unfortunately, but I'm gonna set up my booth and get everything set so that way there's not too much to do tomorrow morning. We made it. That big tent up there is where the show will be taking place. It's raining, but we have begun the process of setting up. Got a little bit of help getting all the boxes out of the car, and now we just need to get the books on the shelves. I'm using this tarp to protect them from the rain overnight. We'll see how that works out in the morning. My bookshelves are on grass, so a little wobbly, so I'm gonna be tying them together to make sure uh, they got a little extra support. Booth is mostly set up. I try to put everything in the best location to avoid any water damage or potential wind damage. Got this tarp on the ground to try to help with any uh, water in the grass. Time to go eat. Oh, we're back in the car. We got the boxes emptied. We're wet, we're cold, and we're hungry. As you can see, it's a very cute setup. It's really All these little, um, little huts. I'll show you what it looks like down the aisles of these huts when we drive past. I'm in this one right here. But if you look over here, you can see it's like a little village. This is not the right way. We're lost <laughs> in a maze of tents. Um, hmm. We're going back Twisting. where we came from. Uh, we're gonna go back where we came from. Gonna try to get out of here somewhere. Oh, that's the way. I don't think so, there's posts. How do we get out of here? Do you know how to get out of here? How do you get out? Uh, the, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, thank you. A little confusing, yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, we're officially on our way out and my sneakers are soaking wet. I'm very cold. We're tired. Most importantly, we are hungry. So I think we're going to the diner. If I can convince her to go to the diner. Soup on a cold, rainy day. Yum. These big old Brussels sprouts. All right, we made it to the hotel room. Like I mentioned, our feet were soaking wet and cold, so our sneakers are drying. Uh, wet, soggy grass equals wet, soggy sneakers. What a day. Protect your investment. Order your American made products at WeatherTech.com. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't pack any underwear. I have a mask you can wear. No. <laughs> none, like none. Socks, bras, no underwear. 